morning, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're gonna to be changing this carburetor. Uh, the carburetor itself's not bad. The uh, needle valve in the float, I'll show that to you once we get it off. It's bad, so we're gonna take this off of here and just replace the whole thing. So, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we gotta take this thing off. We have to unplug this wire. I don't think that's factory, but alright now up in here we have to take off the ground wire, which I believe is five sixteenths, yes. So we're going to take this ground wire off. I'm going to put these uh, nut and bolt up here so I don't lose it. Now up here, um, I'm 10 millimeter. Uh, okay, I just had it out. That's not it. Let me see. I know I had it out because it's missing off of here. Okay, well, let me find. Let me find my socket. And we'll get back on this. Look, I found it was sitting right up there. Alright. Now we're going to take this off of here. I did go ahead and put the muffler back on. Me and Monkey was doing our races every year. With them two years in a row, but no one's no one had really mentioned about they liked them, so we're probably not gonna do one this year. So Alright, now there's something here I'm gonna have to show you that on ours, on our new one. It's got that little piece of plastic in here. I'll show you when I get this off. That we're gonna have to put into here. Okay. Everything else should be the same. Alright, we got this off ready to go. Big ass spider up in there, but he's dead, thank goodness. Looks like there was some water in here it looks rusty but that's got a plastic tank on it so I'm not sure what the deal is with that so we're gonna take this out just like this this little piece of plastic right here my fingers are covering it right there okay you just squeeze together here at the bottom of it push it up out do not lose this I mean it would still run but it'll rev up and down. Okay. You don't want that. So sometimes if you got a surging engine and you went over the carburetor and you can't figure it out, this piece of plastic right here could be worn. Or if it's metal, like here's the choke, but if it's metal like this one, look in there and if it's kind of wallowed out, what that's doing is you're it's going like this, it's revving up and down, so you don't want that. All right, so now let's put our new carburetor on, get that out of the way. We have a new, a new gasket. Let's put this one. This one's still good, so I'm going to save it. All right, so we've got our, we've got two gaskets here. I think, yeah, this one's for up here, right there for this piece. Okay, set that up there. We're gonna put our gasket on here. Just 
kind of make sure it's clean it should be if it's not just clean it up all right, so we're going to put this on here and we're going to put this on here and we're going to put this back on let's see this is your governor something like that all right now they give us uh they gave us a new fuel filter it's on the other side but i think i just put it on but i'll check and see if it's if it's okay now here's the new wire for the bottom of this okay so it's got uh it's got that kind of deal on it um which someone has Apparently had problems with this in the past So I'm gonna have to just I'll, I'll probably have to hardwire it Back onto here You know put it on there and crimp it or something. I don't know Okay, yeah, so I can put that wire Up in here crimp it and then this will plug into that. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll get to that now, I think they gave me some fuel lines with the tune-up kit. We have new, okay, we got a shut-off valve. I may put that on here. It does not have one on it. I thought it did. We got a new filter here. Now, see, I bought two kits. I, I bought a carburetor kit, and then I bought a tune-up kit. See, I got two new plugs. So, those are nice. And... And we got a couple new clamps here. Okay, now I thought we had some line. I thought they gave us some line. I'm not sure. And we have a new air filter for it with a pre filter. Okay, so uh, I don't know if a good check, but I may use this line because this line was working pretty good because the lines I took off of it was in real bad shape so probably going to go ahead and use this line so what I got to do is I'm going to go ahead and see, make sure I got enough wire yet I'm going to go ahead and clip this off of here and I'm going to go get my get my wire strippers I'm gonna strip that back and my crimpers. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to see this. This may be a later date thing. Yeah, I could probably do that in another video. It does not have to have one. It doesn't have one out of the factory. Okay, so let me go get my wire, my wire strippers and uh let me get that wire made up and we'll finish this up okay so i forgot to turn you back on but all i did was put that screw back in there and i just plugged my plug in there now we're going to go ahead finish this up put our little gasket on here just keep it from sucking air all right now there's that now let's go ahead and put Put this on that's kind of like a PV, PVC valve in a way make sure there's nothing in the way here now we're going to go ahead put our two nuts back on one nut <laughs> okay Then I gotta go get some gas. Well, I got gas this round front. We're gonna put some gas in it and we're gonna start it up. Battery's bad. We're gonna start it up, pull it around front, put some air in the tires. Then we'll take it for a little drive and make sure that it's not flooding out any. These don't have to be super tight, guys. Just snug them up just like that. All right. Here's our filter I cannot find I 
I cannot find my nut, my plastic part that goes over here. There's supposed to be a nut here and then a plastic part that goes on top here, and I cannot find it. But we're just, oh, well, that's great. Don't do that, guys. Oh, Jesus, what a day. All right, so. Okay. Now, we're going to put, like I said, I'm going to put this fuel line back on that we took off of it. Now when I put this on here, I had to soak it in some hot water to get it to go on. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put this line on. Then I'll show you when I get back. Then we'll I'll take this off and I'll show you the part that's bad up inside of here. Okay, so let's take this off real quick and I'll show you the part that's bad up inside of here. In case you guys missed that video. We're gonna take our take our float. Yeah. And there it is. What happened is this got has got real real hard. It's kind of moving now a little bit, but it's real hard and it lets gas run fuel run fuel run through and filling up the the carburetor with gasoline so then it was flooding out so really that's all it needed but this i had to get it in a kit and the kit was like 12 bucks and i gave like 18 for the for that whole carburetor but if that car other carburetor goes bad i may go ahead and rebuild this one but it's a nicky i don't like the nickies so anyway guys now pour some gas in i'm gonna throw the hood back on real quick there's nothing to see there just clips on then we're gonna fire it up and drive it around okay guys let's see if this thing will start okay so far but I'll have to let it run and see because usually that's when it would uh, start flooding out is when you're like letting it run a little bit so let's let it run and we'll find out okay guys I know this is a little loud seems like it's running good now but check this out so the leak was just where they when they put the bowl on they didn't have the gasket on right uh, but it's still surging and won't idle so we'll have to send that back uh, I got that from a company I bought every one of my other carburetors from and never had an issue so they're gonna take it back and uh, send me another one so anyway, that's how you change the carburetor. I'm still going to drive it around front and air the tires up, but that's how you change a carburetor on one of these. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll give you an update on the carburetor deal. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.
Them, them big tall weeds over there this thing never did bog down it's got plenty of power for you know a 16 horse smoking like crazy though all right we'll see you in the next one